In today's video, you're going to learn how to create an optical illusion without using an artificial product for a toenail where the nail grew back on the sides, but not in the center, after her podiatrist removed the toenail. So stay tuned. Right, let me straighten out your foot. How are your feet feeling? Good, 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 good. So what have you been doing the past month? Oh, well, I had a brand new grammar Oh, yay! Chunky one. Aw, I love chunky babies. He's just way too big. They had to induce labor early. They do it up in over 12 pounds. Oh my goodness, 12 pounds. Mm -hmm. You might notice that her foot looks like it is wiggling or vibrating or moving back and forth. That's because we had the massage chair on Shake Your Brains Out and I do end up changing that setting in a little bit so her foot stops doing that while I'm trying to work. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to turn on your notifications in case your comment is chosen as the winner in my random comment game. This client has really been doing her best to keep up on her regular pedicures. You should really get a pedicure every four to six weeks, but sometimes finances come into play and people do have to wait a couple of extra weeks. So the tips of her toes have gotten pretty rough. Today you're going to see me use a bit that I probably haven't used in a long time. Um, to smooth off the tips of those toes and we usually do put a little bit of acrylic on her big toes so it appears smooth but she didn't book enough time for this pedicure today so today we have a challenge ahead of us to make this look smooth without using anything artificial. Here I'm using my stainless steel diamond grit nail file to smooth the edges of her toenails. I've already shaped and removed the length with my toenail nippers and all I need to do is smooth any rough edges. I'm gonna file those smooth the, uh, from the tips of your toes. I've got a little special bit I'm gonna use on those today. <laughs> How are you? you know I have outside. <laughs> we all do. We did. we call it some timers. Did you, did you get a cut or no? Yeah, I did, but you, you gotta fix me up today. I Don't forget to leave me a comment for your but chance to win one that. of the meticulous manicurist brand of tools I am using in the video. One subscriber comment will be chosen at random to win one of my tools, and one comment will be chosen by me for my comment hall of fame on my Instagram. So follow the Meticulous Manicurist on Instagram to find out if you are in my comment hall of fame. There's a little bit of blood underneath of it. <clears throat> That's what those little black marks are. Oh, so it's not gonna fall off. It's not gonna fall off. I'll thin it out some more though. Okay. And pull it out. I'm just hoping mm -hmm. for it. Because the second one, it came back normal. It looked like that on my left foot. Right. This is the bit I was talking about earlier. It's called the Diamond Pedicure Coarse Callus Bit. And it is very gentle on the skin. It's um, smoothing out any of the rough calloused parts. You could probably use a little hand file to do this, but the electric file just makes quicker work of it all. And you can be neater and more precise. One of the questions that I get asked often is what I'm applying to the toenails before I use the electric file on the surface of the nail plate, and that is the nail mycosis solution, and it is a 
very thick liquid that helps encapsulate any of the dust and prevents it from flying up into the air. When you're using the electric file on the nail plate surfaces, you literally are using no pressure. You're letting the bit do the work and you're just smoothing it over top of the surface of the nail, allowing the grit of the bit to remove any surface imperfections. If you press down onto the nail, you're going to see layers of the nail being removed and when you don't have thick toenails like this, you only want to smooth the surface, you don't want to do that. On this next one, she has had some damage, so I am going to use a tiny bit of pressure to push down and to remove that lump that's in the center of her nail. You can see that there's some dried blood underneath that nail, and that is from hitting it in her shoe. And hopefully that will, it will, it will just grow up. It's not you know, going to do any kind of damage or harm to it, but we just want to smooth it out and have it, the appearance of it look flat. When I get to the big toe, you're going to see me feeling it often with my thumb. That's one of the reasons why I never use gloves, because your third eye is your fingertip, and I can feel how smooth the different sections of the nail are. If you watch carefully, as I gently use the bit over top of the surface, you can see a little bit of the nail plate being removed, and it just blends into that calloused skin where the nail plate is missing. What's very important to remember is to not put any downward pressure with an electric file on top of any scar tissue. Now the center of her nail where the toenail is missing, the podiatrist did use acid to try to prevent the nail from regrowing. Well, it worked in the center, but it did not work on each side. Scar tissue can be sensitive, so you wanna be very careful not to file that skin and only to bring down the nail surface on both sides to where it meets the height of that tissue. Yeah, I'm okay. So they always had problems. <laughs> Having a first person, he did it on the shit bar, to the fire, and put all the things together. He thought of it because everything would just come up with the name. Right. Here I'm using my angel foot file to remove her calluses from the bottom of her foot. And you guys might notice that, you know, I've removed some of the conversation here and there, and that's just because sometimes clients start talking about something that's pretty personal and I don't um, want to have that in the video just to respect their privacy.
All right, after I apply the foot scrub to the first foot, that foot goes back into the water and I apply the catalyst remover to the bottom of the other foot, wrap it in a towel and start the entire process all over again. Another comment that I sometimes get is, if you touch the tip of the eyedropper to the toe, could you contaminate it when you put it back in the bottle? I'm not touching the tip of the toe. It might look like it, but I'm literally just hovering right over the cuticle area. That glass dropper bottle does not touch the skin at all.
have some really good stuff up front from Imperial Feet. Or, nope. This is the ingrown sidewall cleaner. This is the tool that has the little teeny tiny spoon-like hook on the side of it that slips right down into the sidewall and underneath the side of the nail. And you can see it's getting caught on something. That's what really bugs her. Uh, there gets some callus and some little hard pieces of keratin on the side of her nail and I'm just trying to get that out. When people say that they have an ingrown toenail or they can feel something that is sharp that is bothering them, that is usually what they're feeling is this um, sharp area of the toenail and you need to just get in there and file it off. And I think that this is before I got my ingrown toenail rasp, so I don't think I, I use that in this video. I have some news about my nail polish line. By the time this video posts, I should have received all of my test samples. So, crossing my fingers that everything looks great. And I'm hoping that my nail polishes will be delivered just in time for Christmas. So stay tuned and watch for my announcement so you can see all of the amazing colors.
If you liked today's video or you learned something new, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you know when I upload the next video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.